It's your significant other's birthday and she wants to go out to a fancy dinner. He texts her a sweet text saying, happy birthday, and then what time you will pick her up. You drive to her house and surprise her with a bouquet of flowers. You arrive at the five-star restaurant and open the menu. The menu contains only words and doesn't have pictures or food. of food. No pictures? No problem. Thank goodness you learned to read in elementary school. The, texti the texting to your girlfriend, driving, and reading of a menu comes easy to you. Learning to read is, a, is an essential part of life. Without the skill of reading or knowing how to read well, one will struggle to keep up with the fast pace and continuous changes in our society. It is easier to learn to read when you are young, fresh, and eager to uncover the secrets of the universe. For that reason, and many others, programs in school across America have been implemented over the years to assist with literary literacy rates for elementary school children. One such, such program that became effective under President Clinton's administration is the American Reads Challenge Program. American Reads is a program that helps young students develop and improve their reading skills. I will be discussing the history of this program and what America Reads is all about. Next, I will briefly detail the illiteracy rates among elementary school students in the United States and how programs like America Reads is impacting the, and making a difference with the student's reading ability. The America Reads Challenge Program is in hundreds of universities and colleges across the nation, including the University of Kansas. I am a tutor here at KU, and I work in three different classrooms at an elementary school in Lawrence. I will be describing the relationships I have built with the students over the, over the past couple months and the lessons I share with them and the lessons that I have learned from being a tutor. The American Reads Challenge is a program that was started in 1996 by the Clinton administration. In August 1996, President Clinton proposed a national literacy campaign that would include one million volunteer tutors ready and able to give children the personal attention they need to catch up and get ahead. The federal government played a crucial role in creating the program, but ultimately allowed hundreds of universities and colleges to develop, to develop their own program. America Reads originally stemmed off of other work-study programs offered by the United States Department of Education. In November of 1996, President Clinton announced that the federal government would pay 100% of wages for any student employed as a tutor for preschool or elementary school children. This was the beginning of a nationwide campaign of reading, of reading tutors for elementary school students. The American Reads tutors read aloud to students, prepare lessons to build reading skills, and provide students with the opportunity to practice reading. In addition to the schoolwork, Tutors serve as a positive role model by offering encouragement and motivation to become lifelong readers. Overall, the mission of this program is to help improve and develop a child's reading skills. Their mission is achieved by providing quality tutoring and reading to Title I elementary school students, helping students improve their reading skills and abilities, providing students with a supportive environment in which to succeed, engaging children with reading in a way that helps them find enjoyment in it. Throughout my experience with America Reads, I have found the program to be, in a, to be effective in the classroom. The students I have worked with, particularly my first graders, are smart children who just need extra assistance and instructions when reading, writing, and learning grammar. Once the, fir once the little first graders fully understand the material and give me a big high five and smile on their faces, the smile on their faces are priceless. Those smiles and the new knowledge in their minds would not have been possible without the Clinton administration push in 1996 to create America Reads. Overall, the Clinton administration funded lots of new education programs, including America Reads, that works directly with elementary school children and improving their reading. Um, based off of the National Center for Education Statistics in 2009, 33 of 33% of fourth graders in public schools are at or below the basic level of on the National Assessment of Education Progress, Educational Progress Reading Test. 
In other words, more than 67% of all U.S. fourth graders scored below proficient, meaning that they are not reading at their given grade level. Basic, proficient, and advanced achievement levels are based off the grades 4, 8, and 12. These levels are schools are what schools strive to meet in regards to reading, writing, grammar, spelling, and capitalization. Clearly, most schools have been struggling to uphold these standards and students are then at a disadvantage through the rest of their education. A disadvantage for not only succeeding in school, but also a disadvantage for finding a good, well-paid job in the future. Michael Graves, a professor of literary ed education at the University of Minnesota, and also a member of the Reading Hall of Fame, has written dozens of books on learning vocabulary, instructions, comprehensions, and so on. He knows his literature, clearly. He stated that in today's society, children need to develop high levels of literacy in order to take their place in society as highly skilled workers. It is also important in regards to using technology effectively and knowing how to find and apply information available on the internet. Programs that are federally funded, such as America Reads, are utilized throughout the country. Many students who are being tutored have found the experience to be beneficial. Michael Graves has conducted studies and found that for some struggling students who receive a tutor or become a part of a tutoring group, um, understand or can be provided with more understanding of future classroom literary work. In his research, students did significantly better on a couple accounts of liter literacy than other, other students who did not have a tutor. Although the literacy rates in the U.S. are extremely low, America Reads and other federal programs have been beneficial in increasing and encouraging students and their reading ability. I've always loved working with children because I consider m myself a child most of the time. Over the years, I have worked at vacation Bible schools, soccer camps, and numerous retreats with children, and I think I'd have just as much fun as they do. I have also babysat my whole life and been a nanny for the past couple summers. I love children. Finding this job was too perfect for me, and I am so thankful to have the opportunity to work with children and help make a difference in their lives while receiving financial aid through my federal work study. I also found it interesting that I did not have to be an education major, major or specialize in English in any way. I'm a journalism major with a minor in sociology, and some of the tutors at KU are, have majors such as pharmacy and biology. The major does not matter when it comes to tutoring elementary children. A tutor must exemplify certain characteristics in order to be, an effective, to be effective when working with children. One must be an expert in writing with, working with young children and have lots of patience. Patience, dedication, and determination are needed because what may seem like common sense to, to us now was once the most confusing and hardest concept to understand in kindergarten and first, first grade. It also takes patience to sound words out with the students when you could easily just give up, give them the answer. I personally work with a group of first grade ESL students, whose second, which means their second language is English. So it can be difficult for me at times to keep, slow, to keep a slow pace when learning new materials with them. When sounding words out, the ESL students mispronounce a lot of the letters and the sounds, and once again, patience and determination are key in helping them learn. One of my ESL first grade students, Moath, is Arabic. He, is a, he was a new student at the semester, and when I first started working in the class, he, did, he didn't know a word of English. We didn't even know how to pronounce his name correctly for the first couple weeks. Um, the te um, the, yeah, the teacher didn't know how to pronounce his name, and it was pretty confusing. But after a couple of weeks went by, I could tell he was more comfortable with me and the other students in our little tutor session. He still wouldn't say much, but whenever he answered a question correctly, he smiled hugely and gave me a huge good job. Now in other tutoring sessions today, he will answer every question that, that I will let him because he likes to talk a lot, and I can tell he has improved dramatically. Seeing his progress over the weeks and months has been an incredible experience. 
The three classrooms I have worked in over the past th five months are also different, but the results are the same. I have noticed progress each week, whether one student focused on a worksheet without telling me a story every 30 seconds, or if they finally understand the difference between a noun and a verb. A noun is a person, place, or thing, and a verb is an action. Um, seeing the students become comfortable with someone who isn't their teacher, but rather a tutor, friend, and a mentor is an incredible experience. The students trust me and are eager to learn the lessons for the day. Well, most of the time. The students are enthusiastic and it's great to be a part of influencing their life and helping them improve their reading comprehension skills through America Reads. Without the ability to read, life would be, diff would be a different place. Reading allows the imagination to grow. Reading is how we discover new things. Reading is an important development of the mind. The mind is, is a muscle and it needs exercise by reading to keep it in shape. By reading and writing, children have a better opportunity to be, to be successful in life. Through financial aid programs throughout the United States, such as America Reads, they have truly made an impact on the improvement of literacy, literacy rates in elementary schools. Reading is essential in today's society. Pictures may be worth a thousand words, but words are worth a lifetime of success.